What is up, YouTube? Once again, welcome back to Mind of a Madman. My name is Ruben, aka The Madman. This is a special extra video for this week. Normally, I only do one video a week, but I found some cool things I really wanted to share with you guys out there. Figured it might be helpful to someone out there because it was helpful to me once I figured it out. So, just want to share some knowledge. Um, this is specifically made for people who use touchscreen computers and they want to use gaming with them. Uh, things like the Lenovo Yoga, the, the Lenovo ThinkPads, the Surface, the Surface Pro, uh, Pro 2, Pro 3. All of these will work. There is an RT version of this software I'm going to be showing you guys today. Just go to their website or go to Steam and it can walk you through getting the RT version as far as the forum does tell me. Now I will give you a disclaimer quickly. I have not tried the RT version yet. I've only used the one for standard x86, x64 platforms, but from what I've seen on the forums, it is an RT compatible version. But let's get back to the information I got for you guys today. So as you can see, I'm recording my desktop on my Surface Pro. I'm, like I said before, I'm a huge gamer, and this was an awesome find for me. So I can use actual gaming software on my Surface on the go. Surface is very powerful, as are most of the laptops out there for Windows 8 and Windows 10 that are touchscreen. Biggest problem was no mouse, no keyboard. You really can't do much with a lot of the more powerful or more fun games out there. That is until you I found this. So this is called GestureWorks Gameplay. You can find it on Steam. It's only $2 for the core software, an extra dollar for the DLC that does voice control add-ons, which you'll see, I'll show you in a couple of seconds uh, exactly how you can set that up. But as you can see, it has a list of games pre-installed, and what it does is it gives you a virtual controller that you can use to play the game. So you'll see here I have uh, DMC, or Devil May Cry, which is the most recent Devil May Cry game. The what reboot, people didn't like it, but I liked it, so I play it. Uh, this program does give you options to actually control your games using touchscreen interface. So if I go to this one and edit it, you're now seeing my layout that I made specifically for this game. You can download pre-made ones from a lot of different users out there who do a lot of great things. This one originally was a pre-made uh, layout, but I did a little editing because a couple of things I noticed were missing, particularly an enter button, which is needed to get past the tutorial from the beginning, and a few pop-ups that come up here and there. But as you can see now, I have everything here so I can control each and every part of the game that I would need a keyboard for normally, using a on-screen uh, layout. So if I tap one of the buttons here, you'll see you get a key binding here that shows you exactly what each little mapped key will control that would actually make a keyboard function. You can change the skins to get a whole bunch of different options to make it look however you want on your keyboard. So everything here you'll notice has different key bindings. You'll notice how it works, it functions, so it can emulate what it would be like to have a keyboard and mouse in your setup. So now I'm actually going to open up the game and show you how it launches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this. You can, you can close it very easily. It doesn't have to be open while it's running. It will run in the back bar and maintain functionality while you're there. So I'm just going to pop this out. I'm going to expand my window a bit so I can get everything in. And now I'm actually going to launch DMC. While GestureWorks is running in the background, I'm going to launch the actual title and you're going to see exactly what happens. It takes a couple seconds for the game to load up depending on your computer and for uh, GestureWorks to pick up the game is running. So I'm just going to give it a quick open here. So what happens after this point, the game recognizes that GestureWorks is running, that's what we're going to the game is running. And you're going to start seeing a couple of really interesting things, including this, an on-screen actual layout. Now, you're going to see a little bit of lag here because I'm recording with this software running. However, it's uh, when I'm running it normally, I get about 35 to 40 frames per second, which is not bad for a mobile device. And you get 60 per second or higher on my actual laptop. But on a surface, I can't complain whatsoever. So just so you can see here, this is a great software. Once again, it's GestureWorks Gameplay. I'm going to leave a link for it in the description below. You can get it off Steam for like 2 bucks. You can get the DLC for voice control, which I haven't toyed with too much, but there is an option for voice control. I'll show you that in one second. As you can uh, add voice features to it. But as you can see what I mean, you see the start button here, and start, and the game will start to function, and you'll see the keyboard is working. 
just like that. So I can use the buttons here just to control as if I had an actual gamepad or keyboard to function with this game. Great stuff. So I'm just going to leave the game now because I haven't actually got into it too much. I just tested it out. I'm actually going to go back to my desktop and show you a few more features in the game itself. So if I go back to GestureWorks, you're going to see here a couple different control schemes. You have voice, you have touch, you have uh, motion and sensor. So if you have some of the games like driving games and like that where you want to play like Blur or um, Need for Speed that do have a couple of games that are compatible with things like the Surface. Surface is a very powerful machine. If you have a stronger laptop that has a video card and so on and want to play some driving simulators, you can actually add an accelerometer support using the motion feature. So you can add your direction, your display, uh, pinch and drag, head tilting based on the camera. Uh, voice control, which is certain phrases you can add to it, so things like MMOs. Um, I know there is a Dota layout here. You actually can add voice control to give commands directly to your team. So, just wanted to share this with you guys. I hope someone out there can make some use of it. I know I have. Once again, this is on Steam. It is a paid software, but it's not something that you really have to come out of the pocket super heavy for. $2 will get you this great software and give you real compatibility with your touchscreen computers and games. What's the point of having a powerful touchscreen laptop if you can't use a touchscreen to play games? Maybe that's just my opinion. In any case, this has been Mind of a Madman. Thanks for joining me again. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.